Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Nays Pink Bookshelf. My name is Nays and Nays. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, and as the title says, this is going to be another unboxing for the Jean Bookner Storytellers box. This one is the Story Night Collection, and I'm so excited. So I received my box about two days ago, but I wanted to wait around to open it on camera with you guys. I like to keep my unboxings authentic. I was really tempted to just open it because I kind of already know what's in the box. So yeah. Um, I'm not going to give the whole spiel <laughs> of what the Jean Bookner Storytellers box is. So if you want like the full information on the box, click the I up here to go to my playlist of all the unboxings. I love the Jean Bookner Storytellers box. I will leave information down below as well as my 10% off discount code if you sign up for the subscription box. But it is a monthly subscription box in which you get a box curated for a book of your choice because she picks anywhere from 6 to 12 books a month and you get to pick the book that you want. So each box is about 90% the same but then you have that 10% where it might change up the items depending on the book and the author that you picked. So I think that is awesome. Her boxes are $39.97 so about 40 bucks. Not too bad. Um, again, you can use my discount code down below to get 10% off your first box. If you do not want the box, you can do the book only subscription, which if I'm not mistaken is $25, which I still think is a good deal. You get a book with a book plate that is signed from the author. So that is always an excellent thing. And um, is that pretty much what I wanted to say? Um, I guess something else I can mention is that, um, Jean, first of all, Jean Book Nerd um, is a phenomenal company i've worked with jean since 2015 16 i don't even know it goes way it, it goes about four or five years back that i've worked with her and um she works with publishers and authors to get books out to a viewer so that we could help promote their books now i've received several books and i said this in my last ones i will be doing a video now that there's all this free time to um share with you guys all of the books i've ever gotten arcs finished copies paper bags hardcovers all that um you do also get ebooks but mainly with when you work with jean bookner you are mainly getting a physical copy of a book be it an arc or a finished copy and i think that's one of the things i love about her blog program is that she really works excellently she has this type of um excellence about her that i just love and she communicates with you all day every day it's phenomenal i've worked with people such as um katie mcgarry i've gotten two katie mcgarry books from her love both um i've gotten several other books i'm trying to find books right now i, f I think i got other worlds and other earth from her i got never contented things i've gotten um mermaid moon I've there's a bunch of books over here like on these bottom shelves that I received. Um, I received Never Tilting World as well from Rinchi Peko from her. So like, I've worked with her for a minute, got some great books, love her. So she created these, this book box in which you get a variety of things. Some book boxes have t-shirts, some have tote bags, some have journals. This journal here, I got from the Vintage Collection. This one I got from the Heartbreak and it's just a picture frame with the Heartbreak Collection um, image on it. Sorry guys, but um, you can always take the picture out and put something out. So I've gotten some useful things. I've gotten lip balms, lip glosses, like it's amazing. And what I love about her book box is one, you pick the book that you want. So it's not really a surprise. And one thing I can't stand about other book boxes and this is no shade, is that you pretty much, if you're paying for like four different book boxes, you can end up with the same book four times in four different editions. And I'm just one of those people who feel like I don't need the same book in different editions. I just, that's just personally me. I've gotten multiple books on accident before. Like I have two copies of, um, what is that book? The, the, uh, it's a historical fiction. I can't remember right now. But I have two copies of The White Princess. That's what it is. I have two copies of The White Princess. That was a mistake though. I bought one from my local library book sale. And then the other one I picked up at Barnes & Noble's. When they had their like two books for 10 or two books for $5 deal. I picked it up by accident. Um, They're two different editions. But I love the series so much so it didn't bother me. I have two copies of A Court of Thorns and Roses. That was a mistake. Well not a mistake but a purchase error in a sense. I bought a paper bag and I was looking for the second book in hardcover but they had a deal with the first and second book in hardcover so I ended up with the first book again in hardcover so you know sometimes I have my little errors but I don't intentionally go out to buy multiple copies of books so I like that I can pick which book I want from her and um each box is curated to that book which I love all of the things that I've ever gotten in her box are things that I actually use the tote bags I use the shirts I wear love them they're comfortable my coffee mug I use um my hot chocolate I still have them drunk 
I, I didn't have that hot chocolate. I should have had that soon. Soon. I'm gonna have that hot chocolate soon. But you know, lip glosses. I use the journal. I haven't used yet. Um, but it's so nice. Uh the picture friend, I'm gonna use like everything in her box is something that you're gonna use and not just a knickknack to be thrown away. But we're gonna get right into this. Um, I will say she is going to be working with uh, movies and TV shows soon so I'm excited for that to be added into her boxes but as of right now it's books and I'm perfectly all for that I'm a book nerd I'm here for it so here is the box now it came inside of a USPS box obviously got rid of that had to um, but I normally don't show you guys but the boxes come inside of the USPS box wrapped up in bubble wrap like this so this is how they look but let's get into it One thing I always say is her packaging is phenomenal. She goes above and beyond excellence all the way with her packaging, with her wrapping everything. The detailing is just always phenomenal. I'm always excited to get her book boxes in the mail. I am a rep. If you guys didn't couldn't tell that by now, I am a rep. But I do not pay for these boxes. I do get them for free to do unboxings and reviews for you guys. And I freaking adore them. I adore them so much. This is a box I definitely would pay for on a consistent monthly basis because I get to pick my book. And that is my biggest thing. I pick my book and all the items in the book are things I will use and not just collect um but here is the story night collection it is so pretty this box the detailing now the box for this is the March I think the April box is already posted up on her website I'll leave a link down below it's called the fallen angel the fallen the fallen collection excuse me it's the fallen collection um which basically talks about angels obviously and I already have an idea of two of books of the books that I want but I think I'm going to go with a specific book. So I'm super excited. And the image for that is here. Follow her on Instagram. You can see all the pictures of like the packaging and the books options and things like that. She posts a lot on her Instagram. But let's dive in. Okay. So on the top, you always have your little letter with something. So the last few months, I've gotten these book sleeves. So this one came in the vintage collection. So pretty and these little authors here's what the inside of it looks like and then for the heartbreak collection we got this one and the inside looks like that so i don't think this box has a book sleeve which is kind of sad but there are some other excited things that i am super excited for now i do have the email with all the information but as of right now i can't get to my phone so um on the top you have this envelope um what does it say absolutely magical oh that is so pretty everything the detailing the packaging i love it oh my gosh that is so pretty um so she always has these wax seals on love that so much um but i got my scissors this time i'm prepared i'm prepared i probably should have got my exacto knife instead but we're gonna use the scissors okay I'm so excited you guys don't understand like the excitement I get from getting these boxes every month. They're so fun. Okay, so what's in here? Okay, so this is, is that the only thing in here? Yes. Okay, so this is the little letter. I had the other letter somewhere. I think it's over there, so I'm not going to get it. But this one says, shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Of course, she signed it. I love this. So cute. And I told you guys previous in the video that I really just love this frame detailing because it tends to change depending on the sort of theme of the box. So I, I think this is epic. And I always keep her little boxes and stuff like that. So you have a blue ribbon and then you have the tote bag, which is blue. So pretty. So on the front, it just says Story Night Collection. And this is huge. Oh, gosh. This is so big. And I, I love it. In the back, it just says Jean Book Nerd Storyteller Box. Love, love, love that. I love this color. It is amazing. This is huge. This reminds me of the first tote bag I got. Um, with, I think it was Children, Children of the Fifth Sun. That tote bag was big, but this one might be a little bit bigger than it. But I love this so much. Okay. So then, again, with this packaging. Her packaging is always one point. Let me show you guys. Like, I cannot do look at this like i don't i don't i'm gonna try to preserve the packaging as much as possible so i know what this is oh no i don't i don't know what this is what is this i don't know but it's a little velvet blue bag 
tissue paper. What is this? Okay. The pen. Okay, yeah. So we have the Story Night Collection button. I say pen, but it's a button. Um, I normally keep all of my buttons and my stickers inside of here. <laughs> so we have the pen. I'm saying pen, but it's a button. And like I said, I keep all of the buttons and stickers in there from Jean Book Nerd. So if that don't tell you guys how much I love Jean Book Nerd, I don't know what will. Okay. But um, yes, yeah, this is so nice. Okay. So we're going to keep that packaging I'll just throw on the floor next to me okay the next thing I'm gonna take out is this no I'll do that last we'll do this on top so this one is I love this paper I'm gonna try to preserve this and use it in like my journal or something but that paper is so nice so nice okay little box What's this? is this the um yes okay coaster so we have a coaster this time. I like coasters. I use them in my room. Um, but yeah, this one is Starry Night Collection. This is so dope. And the back of it is just cork. So that's dope. I like that. Definitely going to be using this with my jeans, um, book and our storytellers mug, of course. I'm going to preserve, like I said, this box because this is pretty. Okay, um, we'll go with this blue one next. So this is just a blue box. Normally the box is black with different color foiling. This one is navy blue with gold foiling. This is, is this cards? <gasps> yes, so normally you always get cards with her boxes and I love that. So, I'm trying to open it. I love her cards. Like I have given a pack of cards to my brother. Okay, I'm not going to attempt to do that. We're just going to use these scissors because it's not working. It's just, it doesn't want to cooperate today. Okay. I like really love these cards that she sends. But these might be my new favorite. Okay, so let me... Okay, first of all, this box is everything to me. This is a Stargazer playing cards. I hope they're super pretty because we love pretty cards. Mind you, I, I haven't even really played with my other cards from her. I just, I love having, oh, these are pretty. These are pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, so the front just looks like that on the cards. And then the back is like that. So they're kind of like almost neonish, and that is so pretty. Um, I like these a lot. What about the aces? Are the aces special? This one has a heart on it. That's cute. I'm trying to see the ace of spades. Nope, they're not specifically detailed with anything. Okay, I like these a lot. Are they my favorite? Probably not my favorite. Um, I really like the gold ones that we got and the sort of, um... I don't know if it was a Grim Reader box that it came in, but it was like this, like, Cinco de Mayo style, and then there was other things inside. It was just really pretty. It was a fantasy type. I don't remember which box it came in, but we have this next. Um, again, I love this packaging. So pretty. Yes, okay, so this is coffee. Yes, I like coffee. Um, this is the Tactical Reload from One Nation. It's called, ooh, that smells good. Okay. This is a medium dark number two. It's the JB's Buckshot Blend. If you guys can see. So it is a medium dark. So that's nice. I'm down for that. And again, this is from One Nation Coffee. Um, so I'm super excited to try this out. It smells really good though. That 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 smells good. But again, tactical reload. Um, the flavor. Zero to medium dark in the website is here. Loving that, loving that, loving that, loving that. I'm gonna repurpose these boxes for something. Okay, that's the book. We'll do that last. So, um, then we have this. I guess this was like wrapped up, but it came apart, which is fine. 
um but again i'm going to repurpose because that is so cute um i don't even know like oh okay you can just open it the shirt is in the box yes it's blue oh my god the shirts that she get are so soft and comfortable so on the sleeve you have the jean book no storytellers box um logo and then it says a story night on the front Jean Bookner Storytellers box on the back and then on the bottom it has the logo again with the size so I have a size small so I'm excited and these like I said are amazing um I love these these are soft they're comfortable to sleep in I sleep in my Grim Reader one a lot and my um the Christmas one I got can't remember what that one was called but the ho the holiday box and the Grim Reader I sleep in a lot because they're very very comfortable um to wear and I have the vintage collection one but I think I don't I don't think I want to sleep in that one because it's such a nice lightweight color it's like a creamy color so I might wear the one outside but this one I definitely could add to my sleepwear so this is nice and comfortable love that okay I know what this is this is a candle and I am so excited so we're gonna take the bow off Yes. Is it scented or no? No, I don't think it's scented though. Nope, it's not scented, but um, that is perfectly fine. You know, you can always use it unscented. And I think it'd be nice for me to use this when I'm using my diffusers, but still want to burn a candle. So um, it's a large candle, that's for sure. Definitely need like a holder for this for sure. I have someone some some one somewhere in this house. And then lastly we have the book. So the book that I wanted, um, she wasn't able to send just because with COVID and everything with shipping and stuff, which I definitely understand. So she sent everyone, I believe, the same book. Um <clears throat> excuse me. So attached is this card. First of all, this envelope is cute. And it's velcroed. Oh, that is so nice. So inside of here. I see cards and I think the sticker. Yes. So here is the Starry Night collection sticker. Love that. Then I have a two signed book plates from the author. How many people wrote this book? I don't know. I think it's two authors. I'm not sure. But this is a little like postcard of the book. And then the two stickers, which of the characters. I'm assuming these are the characters. So that's dope in their sign, like I said. So that's dope, 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 dope. Um, and here is the book. It is hardcover. I wasn't expecting it to be hardcover. Like, at all. That was going to be paperback. Um, so the book is It Takes Death to Reach a Star. It's by Stu Jones and Garth. Gareth Worthington, sorry. Um, I have read it from Gareth before. I read, oh, do I have it over here? No, I think it's on this shelf in the back. And I don't feel like getting it. But um, the fifth, is it the fifth son? The fifth son. I believe it's the fifth son. If I'm not right, I'll correct it on the screen. But if I'm not mistaken, it was the fifth son that he wrote. Um, so, Children of the Fifth Son. Sorry, it's what it's called. It's called Children of the Fifth Son. So, this says, we all have demons. Some demons have you. Interesting. His eye color is dope. It's like an orangey color. I wanted these two uh, kind of paranormal romance novellas. Um, but again, with shipping, I totally understand because shipping and getting items and things like that is going to be a hassle with everything that's going on. So I did not mind her sending me this book. It looks to be sci-fi. I'm not much of a sci-fi reader. Yeah, this is like sci-fi, futuristic. Oh, great. There's an epidemic struck at the end of um, the Third World War. Yeah, fighting over oil, power, and religions. This seems like it could be interesting. It seems like it could be interesting now. Yeah, so if I'm, yeah, Gareth um, Worthington definitely did write the Children of the Fifth Sun series, so got that. I have two copies of that book, but um, it's 43 chapters with an epilogue. I'm interested, I'm interested, I'm interested, I'm interested. I'll read the back. It just says, the world you know is dead. We did this to ourselves. The epidemic struck at the end of the Third World War, fighting over oil, power, and religion. Governments ignored the rise of an antibacterial resistant plague. In just five years, the earth was annihilated. Oh, wow. Okay. Only one city survived. Etion, I think that's how you say it. A frozen hellhole in northern Siberia engulfed in endless conflict. The year is 2251. 
Two groups emerge from the ashes of the old world. Within the walled city of Lower Etium dwell the robust descendants of the poor who were immune to the new black death. Above them in a metropolis of pristine platforms called lily pads live the Gracilis, the progeny of the super rich bioengineer to resist the plague. So you have Myla Solikoff, which I'm assuming this would be her. Love that. That's Myla. Okay, so that's the female protagonist. She is a robust who trades information in a world where knowing too much can get you killed. Caught in a deal gone bad, she's forced to take a high-risk job for a clandestine organization hell-bent on revolution. And then you have Dimitri. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce their last name, but that's Dimitri. Um, and he is a Graysile. I think that's how you say it. Graysile with a dark secret. A sickness that, if discovered, will get him axed. That's literally what it says, axed. Um, his only relief is an illegal narcotic produced by the robust, and his only means of obtaining it is a journey to the Arctic hell far below New Etium. Thrust together in the midst of a sinister plot that threatens all life above and below the cloud line, Mila and Dimitri must master their demons and make a choice, one that won't either salvage what's left of the human race or doom it to extinction so i'm actually excited that i actually got this book out it wasn't on my radar honestly when i was looking through all the options of the books um it wasn't on my radar but i'm actually quite glad to have it now it might be really good i might truly enjoy it so we have this it takes death to reach a star um and with that i got the two character stickers the postcard um i have my stargazer sticker my stargazer button some coffee because we like coffee of course um we have some bicycle uh playing cards stargazer collection a coaster we have the shirt the tote bag and then we have a candle in here so do i think this box is worth it of course i love this box it is amazing i am loving this envelope i'm going to reuse this for something because this envelope is too cute to not use for something just it's too cute so i love everything in my box i'm excited to have this book definitely something that was not on my radar like i said but i'm super excited to have it and do i recommend it i definitely do sign up for the su subscription box use my code down below to get 10 percent off um, and if you're interested specifically in this box, I will leave it linked down below for you guys to check out. Again, the next box to come out will be the Fallen Collection. A link is down below for you guys to look through. And I'm super excited. I got my eye on two books. On two books um, for that box. So, yeah, I, I, I am loving everything. Like, this, the detailing, the roses are just so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. But, yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And if you are, click the bell to stay notified. I will be posting more soon. Soon, guys. I know I say this all the time. I really want to get into doing single book reviews on a lot of the books that I read. Or doing, like, recent reads every week. Because I read quite a lot of books. But it's just a hassle trying to do that while managing other things. So I'm still working out a schedule to be consistent on this channel. I really want to post twice a week. But we'll see how that goes. But that is it for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.